Hey friends, so um, I do apologize. I started to go live uh, on my um, laptop for the first time, but it was my first time and I just, I wasn't sure if I was doing it right and it, it was having me kind of stare at myself, so I didn't really like that. But um, if you're watching the replay of this comment replay, I know a lot of people had interest in this. So um, we're, today we're gonna talk about powerhouse scents. So that just means that these are scents or fragrances that are very like strong and long lasting. Most of this is based on my own experience. So um, you may have smelled these before and you're like, no, that's definitely not like strong. Just know that everyone's nose is different. This is based on my experience. Um, I may list a fragrance that you've smelled before and you're like, no, that's disgusting. I'm just going based off of experience and I feel like I have a good wide range of fragrances. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. Um, but I do have a couple, a little bit of housekeeping before I get started. Um, I promise I won't keep you too long. Um, so for the month of May, I know I've posted this a few times, but um, I am hosting a fundraiser for Victoria's Voice. This is a an organization or foundation for um, helping with drug addiction and overdose. Um, this is for my best friend, Chastity Lewis, who um, is actually competing in Miss Kentucky for America uh, next month. So I'm super excited for her. This is kind of um, what that whole pageant um, what the cause is for. Um, so I just wanted to bring that up as well. Um, our goal is to sell about $1,000. I believe we're at around 300-ish now. So I'm gonna keep working towards that. So if you do have some gifts to buy or restock or anything, um, definitely let me know. I can send you the link and I will be donating 10% of all orders to Victoria's Voice. Um, also, um, and if you are local, you can let me know. You could be like, hey, I want this to be for the fundraiser and I can collect some orders and do it in like a bulk order. That's fine too. So, um, we do have the fundraiser going on. I'm going to put the link below. Um, another thing is Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming, uh, on Sunday. So if you need any last minute gifts, g gifts in general, I have a ton of inventory on hand. Um, so if you want to check that out, it is in the top of this link, my updated inventory, please let me know. I will certainly, um, you know, I, we can meet or, uh, I, if you're not local, I, I don't really recommend shipping it because I don't think it would get to you on time. Um, but I, if you are local and you want to meet or do like a porch pickup thing, definitely let me know. And um, we can schedule that and get you some Mother's Day gifts. I've created bundles before, anything like that. If you're like, hey, Eric, can you whip me up a bundle for wax or whatever? I can definitely do that. I have all kinds of stuff in stock. Um, I think that's about it. The summer collection released on the 1st. So all kinds of really great summer scents. Um, if you're wanting some samples, let me know. I'm doing a program where you get a car bar. All four of the samples of the new scents. Um, a body care sample as well as a laundry sample for only $10 and that does include your shipping. So let me know if you're interested in that too. All right, now I'm done talking with the housekeeping and now we're going to move on to my favorite. I love doing sniff sessions with you guys. I'm super excited. So um, I tried to do a really good variety of like bakery, spice, fresh, floral, uh, woodsy. I try to do a good variety because everyone has different tastes or like things that they like, scents that they like. I personally don't really like citrus. Um, and I actually don't think I have a citrus in here. I'm going to li list a couple of honorable mentions first, and that is Blue Grotto, which is citrusy. That one's strong. Um, it's really long lasting in my opinion. It is citrusy though. I don't really care for it, but it is a bestseller. So if you like citrus, tropical smells, you might like that one. Another one is Bonfire Beach. Um, it literally smells like it sounds. Uh, it smells like a bonfire on the beach. It's so good. I absolutely love it. That one's a powerhouse. I don't have um, that one on hand right now. I do have Blue Grotto, but I wanted to mention those before I get into these. I was only going to have a top 10, but it turned into like a top 14. <laughs> so, but I just wanted to have a good variety. All right, first we have cinnamon vanilla. So I'm, I'm mainly mentioning this because I do have a few people who still like 
spice or bakery smells in the summertime or like all year round. Um, I personally only like smells like this in the fall or maybe like winter. Um, but cinnamon vanilla, it smells like it sounds. <coughs> if you like uh, cinnamon smells, it's actually like really good. And um, it is really heavy on the cinnamon. So um, I'm going to read off the scent notes real quick. So cinnamon vanilla is... Um, inviting blend of vanilla beans, cinnamon, coconut, um, and I don't know what that word says. It is on the website, though, so it's very heavy on the cinnamon, and you get, like, a slight bit of vanilla, in my opinion. Yeah. It kind of smells like root beer, too. I guess that's, like, from the vanilla, like, the sweetness of the vanilla. So it's, like, sweet and spicy, but it's definitely spicy, so... If you like cinnamon, this I would say this is definitely a powerhouse. It's a good one if you like cinnamon or spice. All right, so my next one, um, kind of in the same category, but we're going to bakery. Um, so this is blueberry cheesecake. I know if you are watching this, comment below if blueberry cheesecake is one of your favorites because I personally really love it. It's a good mixer. You can mix it with a few different things. You can make like blueberry lemon if you have like a lemon scent too, like squeeze the day. Um, you can mix it with uh, like maybe a strawberry and you can make like a mixed berry cheesecake scent or something. Mm. And like it, it just smells like it sounds. It's blueberries, cheesecake, light graham cracker crust. Mm. It's so good y'all. I love blueberry cheesecake. Like, I typically warm bakery scents in the kitchen. Mm. But it's so good. I really love blueberry cheesecake. This one is really long lasting, um, in my opinion, very strong. And this also goes for like, if you get like a car bar or scent circle or something like that in this scent, it typically does last longer compared to other ones. So blueberry cheesecake is another good one. Um, next one, also sticking with bakery, is, uh, Clementine Cupcake. So this one is actually brand new, and, um, if you have not smelled this yet, um, and you like citrus, you would probably like this. So we're warming this in our kitchen right now. Jeremy really liked this one. As I said, I don't really like citrus smells, but this has a, a hint of vanilla with it that kind of um, mellows it out. Um, if it's a really strong or orangey scent, I don't like it at all. It, like, some people say that vanilla gives them a headache or floral. I, that's me with orange scents. I, I cannot with orange. <laughs> that's me personally. If you love orange, that's totally okay, obviously. I love that for you. But I, I personally don't like orangey scents. But this one is a warm vanilla cupcake infused with sweet clementine and sprinkled with lemon sugar. Oh, it's so good. You get like a hint of lemon on the end there. Um, and it it's just so good. I really enjoy this one. Um, so you, you definitely... You, you get the orange, the clementine right away. I'm just going to say orange and orange. Clementine is an orange. It, it smells like an orange cupcake. Orange vanilla cupcake. Mm, it's so good. Orange and lemon and vanilla. That is exactly what this is. I really like this. I think this would be, this is definitely like a, um, some people might not like it if you don't like bakery or sweet smells, but I really like it. We're warming it in our kitchen. All right, so I have a few that, let me go through. I have a lot of fresh ones because I know we are in spring and summertime, so I definitely want to focus on fresh too. Um, so my next one is coconut lemongrass. I know a lot of you really like this one. So I'm going to describe what this one is. I know Mariah Dugan, if you're watching this, this is one of her favorites. So this is creamy tropical coconut and sunny bright lemon grass. It's literally like coconut and lemon, very tropical. 
Yeah, yeah. It, it's very heavy on the lemongrass. So if you don't like lemon, I don't think you would like this. But the coconut kind of mellows out the lemon a little bit too. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna say I don't prefer this, but it's not one of my favorites. Now, if you love the this type of stuff, I'm just giving you my honest, true opinion. This is not my favorite, but if you like coconut and lemon, or just lemon in general, because it's very heavy on the lemon, I think you'd really like this. That's definitely a powerhouse. By powerhouse, I, again, just mean that it's long-lasting, um, and it's like a strong scent. Uh, to me, strong means long-lasting. I can smell it as soon as I walk in the room. I don't have to bend over on the warmer and smell it. Um, people have different like definitions of strong, but to me, that's what that means. I can smell it when I walk in the room. Uh, we try to have different scents in different rooms. I know some people that can trigger a headache, so um, I just, I feel like if you have the same scent in every room, you're gonna go nose blind. So that is just my personal opinion there. So that's why I try to do these uh, scent smells tests with you, just to let you know my thoughts. Um, just if you want to try different things in different rooms. Okay, so um, my next one, um, I'm gonna stick with kind of fruity-ish. I know this one was kind of fruity. So uh, make a splash. I talked about this in a live um, last week, I think, uh, when I, I had the Mother's Day stuff. So this is one of mine and Jeremy's all-time favorites. They recently came out with this in the cleaning products and also the body care. And we're using the body wash right now, and let me tell you, it is amazing. Love it. It's our favorite. I hope it sticks around for a while because they tend to switch out. They tend to rotate the body care products. So this is Dewy Melon and Fresh Green Apple Dive Into Fresh Turquoise Waters. So it is mostly fresh, but you get the melon in there too. It's very melony, um, but you get the turquoise waters and the green apple is very light. I'm not big on green apple. I'm actually not big on fruity scents. Um, just my preference. Um, actually, all my favorites are towards the end here. So, it's just very light, fresh, um, but it also, like, packs a punch. And it, we, we warmed it in our living room. And, like, we turn our warmers on when Jeremy gets home from work. So, at, like, 5.30, 6 o'clock, sometimes later. So, they're on, like, four hours a day-ish, sometimes longer. Um, and we had this in there for like a week and I could still smell it. So this one is really good. I love Make a Splash. So if you like white, but kind of melony scents, not super strong on melon, that one's really good. Um, it's very fresh in my opinion and it's so good in the body care. All right. So, um, the next one that is honestly not one of my favorites, but I know it's very popular, a bestseller is a clothesline. So I'm gonna read to you what this is, clothesline. Here we go. So this is, um, this is crisp greens, orange flower, creamy violet, and a hint of white wicker basket will let you savor the scent of just wash laundry dried naturally in fresh air anytime you please. So it's a very long description for a uh, clothesline, but it's it literally just smells like fresh cotton or laundry detergent. It It's not my thing. I think it reminds me of doing laundry. <laughs> and like, but it just has a very fresh cotton smell. Um, if this is one of your favorites, girl, go on. That's awesome. Um, it's not one of my favorites, but I have warmed it before. I tried mixing this with something and to see if it wouldn't, if it would cancel out what I mixed it with or wasn't as strong. And this took over. It's, this one is so strong. Like it, it this will last a very long time in my opinion. I know a lot of people are like, how long does the wax last? 
It depends on how often you turn your warmer on or how long you have your warmer on. I know we have a mini warmer in our guest bathroom and it's on almost 24 seven. We just turn it off at night. Otherwise it's on constantly. And I change the wax out probably once a week, um, sometimes every five days. Um, but yeah, that, that's a little thing in there too. Um, the warmer in my office I have on for typically eight hours a day and I change out the wax probably every five days. And then the warmers in the rest of the house, we probably change out every like week, once a week. Mm. So this actually isn't bad. <laughs> uh, a very close one to this that's probably also a powerhouse is Magnolia Linen. And I know Jennifer Hardin, if you're watching this, that is like her favorite and that's become a favorite of people's. So, um, and that one just smells like Magnolia with clothesline in my opinion. So like floral fresh, if you like floral, excuse me, it's probably a really good spring and summer scent, very fresh and florally. But this one's just overall very fresh. If you like the smell of clean laundry, that's exactly what it smells like. Okay, so now I'm going to get into one that's very similar to Clothesline. I think this reminds me of Clothesline. Um, let me pull it up here just to read you the scent notes. So this is Shoreline Drive, and it is... Uh, and this is new for 2022. So this is take a scenic route with dewy greens and passion flower as sea mist guides the way. So you have dewy greens, passion flower, and sea mist. I think I've smelled this on camera before, but I'll do it again. Yes, okay. So this is super fresh. It's very similar to clothesline. But I think the fruity notes in here make it more tolerable for me. So it's very light on the fruit. So I know it said dewy greens and passion flower. Oh, it has like a little bit of passion flower too. So you have like floral fresh, I guess. And anymore, I like love floral scents. So, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's very fresh and light. But we warmed this in our living room a couple weeks ago, and it was amazing. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Very fresh, light. I'm going to add this to my club whenever the season's over. Um, this will probably go away uh, in July. Will probably the, be the last month you can get this. So, so good. Shoreline Drive. Um, if you want a sample of it, let me know. Okay, and then I'm going to save my favorite for last. So now I'm going to talk about some woodsy smells or um, manly smells. So uh, <clears throat> also Father's Day is coming up. So if you have a father or some, a man in your life who, um, you know, has a warmer or we also have body care products and mystery man, uh, also car um car bar clips car bar scent circles uh in mystery man so this is a really good one if they like uh manly scents um or like cologne smells so mystery man this is definitely a strong one i know beth if you're watching this you this is like one of her favorites i love like cologne manly smells when they came out with the next one i'm going to talk about i was so excited so this is uh, warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot in a perfectly spiced, sensual fragrance. So I love bergamot, um, white cedar. Oh. oh, it's so good. This doesn't really remind me of anything necessarily like the next one does, but it's so good. Oh, it's just very manly but also light it's got a little bit of spice to it it doesn't smell like an old man cologne to me it smells very like modern um it's it's just so good you get the bergamot um the white cedar for sure a little bit of verbena um and like a very little bit of citrus because you know i don't really like citrus Oh, it's so good. If you've never smelled this before and you like like manly cologne smells, 
This is really good. This has been around for a long time too with Scentsy. All right, so two more. Um, so sticking with the manly smells, masculine smells, um, white, amber, and teak. So white, amber, and teak came out this year. So in 2022 in spring. So this is alluring amber and teak flirt with fresh bergamot. So it's really similar to Mystery Man, um, but if you've ever smelled uh, mahogany teak wood at um, Bath and Body Works, and you liked those candles, this is its wax melt. I swear, um, and it also makes me think of Fierce from Abercrombie and Fitch. And Jeremy wore that when we first started dating, so that kind of makes me think of like when we were like eighteen, nineteen, twenty. He was. He was 21 when we first started dating. I was 18. For uh, math reasons, I'm 28 now. So we've been together for 10 years. Uh, but this one is so good. And actually, we worked on an event a couple of weeks ago. And this one's a little, like, funky. I think it it was really hot that day. So, but, oh my gosh. White Amber Antique. Mmm. So you get the amber and the teak right away, as well as the bergamot. It's just really masculine. It smells straight up like, you know, um, like you would want it to. <laughs> like, just, you know, your, your man about to go out and take you on a date or take you to the club, take you um, on a hot date in general. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Um, this is another one we recently warmed in, I believe, our um, um, bedroom. And, you know, very long-lasting. Um, we don't keep... We keep our bedroom door closed to kind of keep the dog out of there. And, you know, when you just... Oh, when you open the door and your warmers have been on, it's like, oh, my gosh. Like, it just smells so good. Mm, yeah. So if you ever want to try this one, it's really good too. Love white amber antique. All right, guys. So my last one is summer holiday. So this is probably, aside from some fallen winter scents, this is probably my favorite scent ever. I'm not even kidding. So, and this is definitely a long-lasting one. Um, I've worn this in the office, in our living room, and it lasts a very long time. Um, like I say, again, it depends on how often you turn your warmers on, but, uh, like, I don't have to change this out too often. Uh, again, I just change, I, I typically change out all my wax once a week. Just kind of a thing. I like to be fresh every week. So, it says... Steal away to, whoa, steal away to a sunny aisle bursting with lush plumeria and tiger lily and sweet orange soften, softened by vanilla and radiant amber. That's a very long description, but it's basically plumeria, tiger lily, orange, and vanilla, and radiant amber. Um, and this is in the floral category. But it's like a tropical floral. It's very tropical. And it's kind of softened by this like orange and vanilla. And it's just amazing. And it's called Summer Holiday because when I first smelled it, it I thought it smelled like um, just like going to the beach. It, like I guess it... It kind of gives me like a, a tanning oil. Like some people are like, oh, that smells like sunscreen. I think of more tanning oil because I think tanning oil smells good. Like it has that like coconutty or tropical smell. Uh, I don't even know what the tanning oil to like tropic tan or something like that. I don't know if it smells like that because I don't use those products, but it just smells so good. It just takes me to the beach like I'm going to the beach in like 12 days and I'm so excited. So like I might have to warm this soon because it's so good. Mm. Yes. So summer holiday. That one's absolutely amazing. Love it. That's my favorite. So you heard it here. Summer holiday is my favorite. 
all right. And I did my honorable mentions before this, but I said Blue Grotto and uh, Bonfire Beach. I wish I had Bonfire Beach. I have a couple of them on the way. Um, but like I said, fundraiser is still going on for Victoria's Voice, uh, you know, towards the end, uh, until the end of this month. Um, I do have also online... Uh, on hand inventory if you still need gifts for Mother's Day or anything coming up. I know there's graduations and stuff coming up too. So certainly let me know. Check out the links. Um, they, they are featured in the uh, top of this group. But um, thank you guys so much for watching tonight. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. Um, also, if you're watching the replay of this comment replay. And otherwise, I hope you guys have a great Tuesday night and I'll talk to you soon.